Hi guys, and welcome to this simple interest lesson on how to find P, R, and T. Well, uh, let's have a quick refresh. Simple interest. Finding simple interest is I is equal to P, R, T. Principal times rate times time. Okay, so if these three things multiply to give this one, then it makes perfect sense that if we wanted to find any of those, we would need to do a division sum because the opposite of multiply is to divide. So it makes sense that the interest would be divided by the other two multiplied together. So we end up with some three very simple formulas. To find the principal, it's the interest divided by the rate times the time. To find the rate, the interest divided by the principal times the time. And to find the time, it's the interest divided by the rate times the time. Now there's one little thing that I like to throw in there. In on all these under here, I like to put a brackets because when you put it into your calculator, it will do a bombass. So it will do the division sum before it does the multiply. So make sure you're putting some little brackets around that one. Let's look at a couple of examples. First one, find the principal if it's invested for five years at 7% earning $2,500 interest. So, step one, formula, we're finding the principal. So that's interest divided by rate times the time. Step number two, let's substitute in. We know the interest is $2,500. Okay, we know the rate, it's 7%. Now, remember from when we were doing simple interest, the rate needs to go in as a decimal fraction. So that's 0.07. Okay, the time invested, five years, done. Let's put that into our calculator with those brackets underneath there. And step three is to get the answer. We get $7,142.86. All right, let's look at a couple of quick other ones. Just need to go get my dust up. Righto. What if I wanted to find the rate? What is the rate if $4,500 is invested for two years earning, okay, it's going to earn $1,200. Okay, what's the rate? Right, let's get it done. Step one, do the formula. The rate is equal to interest divided by principal times by the time. Put those brackets in. Let's substitute in. Interest is 1200. 4500 is invested over two years. Put that into our calculator and we get 0.1333333 recurring. Now we know that we put those rates in as decimal fractions, so we need to multiply by 100. And our answer is the rate is 13.3%. Nice and simple. Let's look at the last example that we have up there. The last example is we're going to put an interest rate of 9.25%. $7,250 is invested. We want to know the time. The interest earned is $1,575. Okay, nice and simple. Let's have a look at it. Time is equal to interest principal times the rate with the brackets. Step two, let's substitute in. Time, the interest is 1575. The principal is 7250. The rate is as a decimal fraction. As a decimal fraction, okay? Typing that into our calculator, we get 2.35. Now, you can go and write 2.35, but we'd like to be, we're trying to be mathematical here. We want to be a little bit more correct. So we need to find out what 0.35 of the year is. So we do that as what 
fraction is 0.35 of 12, of meaning multiply 12 months in the year. And what we end up with is... Two years and four months, approximately. Nice and simple. All right, let me give you two practice questions. You go away, have a go at it, we'll come back and we'll go through the answers. Practice question number one. Let's find a principle. Principle we don't know. Rate seven and a half percent. Time two years. We find two thousand dollars in interest is how much we've earned. The next one, let's find time again. So how long is it going to be invested? We're going to invest $15,000 at 6.25% and we're going to earn $3,700 of interest. Go away and have a go at those two. Join us after the break and we'll go through the answers. Righto, welcome back. I hope you had a go at both of those. Let's uh, check out and see how we went. First one, we're finding the principal. Rate of 7.5%. The time was two and a half years and we earned $2,000 in interest. So let's find that principal. Formula. Principal is equal to the interest over the rate times the time. Substitute in $2,000. 0 0.075. Remember, as a decimal fraction. Two and a half years is 2.5. 0.5 is half as a decimal. Put that into our calculator with those brackets in, and we get a principal, step three answer, of $10,666.67. Hope you got that one right. Give it a tick if you did. The next one was, didn't write it up here, but we we're finding the time. We had interest of $3,700. Okay, we had a rate of 6.25% and we had a principal of 15,000 and we were finding how long would that be invested for to earn that interest. So, formula, time is interest divided by principal times the rate. Step two, substitute in interest, $3,700. Principal, 15,000, rate, 0 0.0625 in as a decimal fraction. Put those brackets in, put it in our calculator. Step three, we get an answer of 3.95 rounded, remember. 0.95, we don't want to use that, we want to be a little bit more mathematical. So what is 0.95 as a fraction of a year? So 0.95 times 12 for 12 months in the year gives us three years and 11 months, and I've rounded that one down. So I hope you got both of those right. I hope this gives you a bit of a better chance and understanding. Go check out our webpage, www.schoolmate.com, and have a look at all the other lessons that are there. Thanks for joining us.